How did Kanan live on through the Force? Well, we know he was able to preserve his consciousness after death, albeit by alternative means than we've seen otherwise done before. And I feel the primary thing to point out with this is that there's a noticeable degree of phenomena that occurs on the planet of Lothal leading up to Kanan's death. And Filoni has compared these matters of phenomena to be more or less a different branch from the same tree as others portrayed previously within Clone Wars, even referencing the Wills in particular, who were the original source of this force ghost stuff to begin with. So I think Kanan probably learned how to preserve his consciousness after death along with his ability to manifest himself as doom from the White Wolf. Yet perhaps this is where the train stopped because like with Qui-Gon, Kanan might have been rather limited with what he could accomplish. Meaning that while Hera can clearly feel his presence here, I'm not so sure she'd have the ability yet to fully see or communicate with him as this scene perhaps suggests. <laughs>